Give me two for a second. Good afternoon, Aquarius. Ooh, ooh. This is your general release of the week. Almost personal read, I guess. So be. Gonna get an overall energy for yourself and the person that you're dealing with. One for yourself and one for the person that you're dealing with. Alright, so we can go forward. I don't usually use these fairy cards very often, so um, I still am gonna channel what the meaning is for you, but also I may look up the meaning in the book. Depends on what comes up. So let's take a look at what you got, Aquarius. Good things are coming for December for Aquarians. Oh, Spirit, give me true precise messages for the Aquarius of the Collective, please. True precise energy for this week, Aquarius. Okay, awesome. And their partner. Oh, beautiful. We got Penelope Dreamweaver. I love that. My dog's name is Penelope. And Frisk of the Rainbow. She's beautiful. I'm going to set that to there. Get one for the counterpart. Two precise messages, please, for the overall energy of the, the collective counterpart. Two precise energy for the counterpart, please. Two for them too. Oh my goodness! Look at this. The gloomiest doom. It looks sad. Probably because it's so cold outside. It doesn't have clothes on. Poor thing. And the Bridget mother. Other counterpart. Kind of okay. So put that there. Put this here. I'll take this stone in front of that so it doesn't knock off. Okay. So what's going on with Aquarius this week, Spirit? What's going on with Aquarius this week? Give me some precise messages for the energy that Aquarius is going to be encountering for their week. And then, of course, for their counterpart. Dreamweaver card for Aquarius is almost like the um, High Priestess card to me. You can see how she is in her power, sitting beautiful. She knows she has the magic at the realm of her hands. Um, very much in tune with herself, loving herself as well. You can see here. Um, also, it's almost like the High Priestess and Star card Aquarian merged together with the uh, the Dreamweaver, right? Weaved together. I like that. Um, but the way the stars are, she just rises above um, to the occasion, but leads others, healing others. She is very much in tune to her higher self and just loving herself and radiates beauty and light with love and light. See all those. This also a number 10 breaks to a number 10, which breaks to a number 1. And the 32, which breaks to a 5, is the first of the rainbow. Also about um, her inner beauty, knowing that her beauty shines from within. So she's willing to be let, allow herself um, to be vulnerable, childlike, innocent, um, regardless, as she's just draped with a cloth here. Um, in her angelic manner. She had um, all these little creatures all around her. First of the rainbow. So it's like you have a rainbow here as well. So she's holding the promise 
of the rainbow in our hand. The promise of the rainbow is abundance of all things, but doesn't necessarily, while man or human might think abundance is only in financials, right? Money, dollar bills. However, abundance is in love, in friendship, and in everything around us. Um, we can be abundant in it. So she holds in the, her hand the magic of her hand, just as this one here holds the magic in her hand, and she has the light here um, for her healing hands. She's ready to wave her wand, but she's holding the magic, the pot of gold, the abundance in, in her hand, ready to weld it to those that are all around her. She's very much uh, vulnerable, but childlike innocence um, with the ball here. It's almost like a bubble and um, surrounded by these little fairies. All right. Let me see. Oops. Seek visions and inspiration. Be aware that they are often subtle and require close attention. Fantasies, dreams, daydreams all have a place. An inspiration fairy can contact us, but she can also pop up unannounced in the midst of the day. Ordinary activities. Um, anywhere else that our mind is half occupied and running half running on idle, pay special attention to. Attention to sought inspirations at this time. They have something wonderful to offer you, but it is up to you to catch them and bring them into reality. Let's see. Give her grace. If you want the rest of the book, uh, there's two pages on that card alone. But that's the message I pointed out. Um, there's one video where I read through every card um, from the book, and it's like a book or like a deck review, only giving you the description of what the author wanted to portray with each artwork. Thirty-two. So Iris tells us that the light is breaking through our present darkness and that hope is a powerful factor in speeding up the process. She does not promise us that the storm is over, nor does she say that it will ever storm, never storm again, but she does say that there is brightness and beauty here. She also tells us that there is something to be gained from this passage through the storm, and the sooner we learn what it is, the sooner the storm will end. Always a passage through the storm is a time of potential growth, a time to allow the dead wood of our past to be blown away and to make room for the green shoots of new growth. At this point, it looks, it is useful to ask yourself what we still need to release and to look after protecting and nurturing the seed that we have planted. All right, so for the masculine or counterpart, I should say, is 16. Let me get to that page first. Bridget Mother. This is someone like Earth Mother. Reminds me of Earth Mother. She's very caring. Oh my goodness. Um, again, about vulnerability, allowing uh, them to be and accepting, self acceptance, self loving. With this, um, nurturing themselves and their inner child, because you can see here where she has her hand up and she's holding this magic ball, and the little fairy child is here while other people are all around watching. I'll hold that for a second. 
When the brilliant mother is present in a reading, she speaks of a time of fertility, creativity, nurturing of ourselves or of others. She might indicate marriage or birth of a child or deepening of any relationship. She also speaks of giving one's all to life in general, not holding back. She is like a cornucopia pouring forth abundance. And this sad little fellow. I feel like he lost his cornucopia. This is the gloom and this doom. Like he doesn't have faith. He feels like he lost his cornucopia. This is the masculine who the feminine, this high priestess, stood in her power and pulled her energy back to love herself, to nurture herself. Um, knowing though that it was needed for him to finish growing and healing himself so that he can, with that magnetic pull, come to her, right? Come to her when he is in the right stance. And gloom and his doom here gives me that energy that um, he feels like all is lost, even though he still has the magic ball, um, crystal ball right in his hand to find his high priestess to go to her, but he has to do the work. But currently he's being self-absorbed in depression almost, a very sadness. This poor sad puppy. He feels like he's lost his high priestess. 56. But Sam Strong High Priestess that walked her polar energy back because it's important for um, them to receive, you know, for you to take that step as guided by spirit as long as it was done, you know, with, at the right timing and as guided so that they finish off doing that inner healing and walk away, to have to walk away from toxicity so it's not pulling down the neg uh, High Priestess to negativity. All right, so it is time to face the fact that our attitudes and beliefs about ourselves are our own. We may have learned from others, but the others are not responsible for those views in the here and the now. We are. If we choose self-pity and pessimism, we make a choice that makes our lives worse. When a card appears in a reading, it indicates that this time when understanding that concept and that it's especially important a time when there is such a, a crunch in the situation that offers someone the opportunity to notice the change, such as self-destructive habits. It is yourself. You know what you need to do. If it is someone else, you may wish to consider how you might support them in this opportunity for change. Can you make sure to give positive feedback at every opportunity? Can you refrain from nagging, scolding, or complaining? These things all help, but the time is now. So, yeah, he's, um, perhaps they overindulgence in something that, um, whether the high priestess knew that that's why he was still low vibration um, or not, but when she pulled her energy back, they probably went into indulgence to self-medicate or numb their sadness of their shock, really, that the high priestess would pull away from them. They probably thought they had it in the back because after all she's been nurturing him so well um, up to this point. Others of the masculines though feel like the Bridget here where it's time to make that next move in the relationship. Start give us true precise messages for the Aquarius. True precise messages for the Aquarius please. They want to hop out and try to keep. I only wanted a few cards. <laughs> I do want that one probably, yeah. I usually take five, but okay. Give me the cards for the Divine Mask, or their counterpart, Divine Masculines. The Divine Masculines, their counterpart, or Divine Feminine, whatever is the counterpart. Got your own card. Okay, what? I 
thing. Of course I want that one. Right? But wouldn't. <laughs> so let me get my somewhere. Looking at the choices, you've had a lot of um, cups spilt per se, like other options that didn't uh, you had to walk away from with this connection because you know you knew the strength and the deep connection that you had with this counterpart, and so you had to walk away from those, pull your energy back, and just focus on healing yourself in regards to the two of cups, yours and his, while you each heal yourselves. You were sitting in the Queen of Wands energy. You knew your belief in the system, your or connection. You were listening to your higher self, but also you were still speaking or communicating with your masculine or counterpart, I should say, um, through telepathic communication. Very much in your fiery um, power, fiery energy. When you pulled back, it was probably because boundaries were uh, breached, right? And so you had to reestablish some boundaries and sit or stand in your power the queen of wands she's a little bit of a fiery you're no longer in the uh, self-imposed prison though of thinking about um you know getting upset regarding the boundaries you set because you knew you had to set the boundaries once they were breached you had to re-establish them pull your energy back as guided by the divine you were not being stubborn about it. Remember, this is in reverse, so you were not being stubborn about it. But you still are holding true to the passion. You're holding on to the passion, and perhaps you're not feeling that sacral energy um, burn so much, or the um, light, the fire. Let's say the passionate fire or flame, the heat. You know, the sexual drive towards them currently, because when you pull your energy back, thankfully the spirit blesses us with cutting that off or separating it so that you're not feeling it while you're healing yourself going within you're stepping in your power because you know that you are um, then it's stepping into your soul soul purpose your mission spirit says which justice is here to balance things out between you and them so while you're healing you and working on your soul purpose and your mission spirit is working on the divine mass or your counterpart to ensure their growth as well protecting what you are building you're trying to balance things out without being greedy um, listening to your higher self your intuition for a stable foundation you know what's going on over there not that you're focused on it you're not worried as the high priestess of course um, or hairpin if you're a guy but you're not worried about what's going on over there because you know you can sense their energy that they're really healing themselves they're really going within um, because they finally realize the science behind the journey and they're ignoring the karmic they're ignoring the toxicity that um, has kept you apart up to this point he knows right now that if he doesn't want to stay in this gluminous doom energy right now and he wants to be in the Bridget uh, mother's energy of bridging this gap then he needs to heal and ignore this mess Right? So your how your counterpart is doing this week is he's listening to your um, definitely still listening for your telepathic communication. He's clinging to some communication, um, some form of energy because when you pull your energy back, he felt that a lot. It's probably causing him to have this monkey mind, always thinking of you. They're thinking of you in the morning, the night. They're probably dreaming of you, very sensual dreams. Perhaps they're even visiting the 5D with such sensual uh, visions he's holding on to this belief that he can make this work he's being strong he's uh, also being courageous with his solar plexus chakra um, activated here 
He's trying to re-manifest this connection with you because now that he's connected and understands the science of the journey, he's probably looked up online as to, or you maybe taught him or shown him information regarding this connection, regarding this journey. So he knows that it's in his power to manifest you back, right? To draw, have that draw to you. He's listening to his higher self, his spirit guides. He's shed his old skin. He's had a transformation, a rebirth. And I know I keep saying he, but it could be female genders, however it fits for your situation. Um, he has all the tools within him to uh, repair this and all the tools, spirit said, and all the tools to manifest this. He's recently had the towers. He's recently been transformed and had a rebirth. And like we said, he's working on his pentacles for a firm foundation to build this connection back. But you are all he thinks of. And he, even if he can't see you right now, he um, is thinking of you. He's listening for your um, telepathic communication. He knows that you are the star that shines brightly, that you guide him on this path, that you are the leader. He knows that you were pouring out your emotions equally, that you were nurturing him and healing him. He is filling his own cup as he, where we see it over here. He's filled his own cup and has been nurturing himself so that now he has enough in his own cup overflowing to bring a cup of love to offer to his divine feminine, the Aquarius. Um, the two of you are marrying one another energetically now and he's getting ready to come to you but now he's kind of worried that you're in this queen of wands fiery energy better than the queen of swords though although we have that here <laughs> but he is afraid that you're going to be in this energy here move that up a little bit he's nervous that you're going to have a sharp tongue and not accept him back not accept his cup of love he knows he's messed up he he's realizing during this time this is kind of maybe like the hermit almost where he's had to go in except for the hermit card is really where they're going in for divine guidance to go within and heal themselves for and to speak with spirit for guidance um, this one is more of a self-pity uh, hermiting per se but while they're in that energy, that they're kind of worried now. They've gone through their mind, oh, what if, what if, what if. So um, they're feeling like a tidal wave of emotions coming over them um, sporadically throughout their day. They are probably even um, trying to refrain from, you know, getting too emotional while they're in the workplace if they think of you. But rest assured, I get the energy from this card that, they have definitely shed tears over this loss like when you pulled away. Page of Swords, how you, they see you right now. They're, they're, um, they're seeing you as very sharp to tongue or ready to, um, I won't say, I know some people say like you're going to, uh, Alice in Wonderland with the Queen, I think it's the Queen of Hearts, where she says, off with their heads. <laughs> Such a, it just seems like a descriptive. Uh, but they're afraid that that's the energy they're going to come against when they come to speak to you to offer you this cup of love because they're uh, intimidated by your, your, you know, your glow, your energy because they know you are in your high priestess energy. You understand the science of this journey. They see you as very highly intellect, which Aquarians are very highly intelligent, uh, very much in tune to our uh, intuition even if we weren't already on this journey high priestess can travel between the dark and the light the other worlds the lower worlds and back she's very gifted in her spiritual growth especially she's gone within and healed her inner child and she's gone in and healed to the 5d to heal his inner child as well she's very much this, this high priestess is very much in her power She's so very talented and a healer as well, as you are the humanitarian for Aquarius. So, you are either just getting started looking towards your 
sole purpose and mission, or some of you may, I get the sense that some of you may already know what you're supposed to be doing for your mission, and you're just starting it, or some may even be in mission um, on this channel. However, um, Spirit wants you to, the others that aren't in mission to concentrate and ask Spirit Guides for guidance on what your sole purpose is. If you don't know, you can also check your, it's usually something to do with hum humanitarian work since you are Aquarians, but check your North Node. Your North Node will give you a direction as to what your sole purpose is and what you're here on Earth in this reincarnated life to do. But I can sense from the energy of the cards that some, most of you are healers, you are humanitarians, whether you have healing hands or light speaking light language perhaps even. Many of you can start up your own YouTube channel to help spread the word on your journey to encourage others to um, learn how to do their inner child healing and for the love and light to raise the vibration of Mother Earth to heal Mother Earth and Father Sky. Spirit, give us true precise messages to clarify the cards. For the Clarion, five of cups. Yes, look at this beautiful is the high priestess, the queen of cups, because she's also the empress, right? First you were all the queens, and then you were the empress, and first new beginnings, and then you stepped into your power as high priestess. But this is where you, right, uh, right now, if you pull back your energy, then you're nurturing yourself and just knowing happily content, very much at inner peace right now, just surrounded by these beautiful flowers and, and embracing the beauty around you, the, the earth has to offer you while you know that your counterpart is healing themselves and fixing their uh, addictions or indulgence. You're working on your pentacles as well, but always keeping close eye or close on uh, this to that flame. You're not abandoning them by any means, Aquarius. You're just pulling your energy back to heal yourself, to build your pentacles. Temperance is here to balance things out, Aquarius. They're very much this looks a lot like an Aquarian card as well, even though we are the, you are the air sign, the uh, water here. Reminds me of the star card. But she is very much balancing things out for her, with emotional intelligence up here. You're pulling back. Caused the tower for the masculines, even though you it was for the best for that twin flame connection. Because of some devil energy that the masculine still had to heal. When you say devil energy, it doesn't, I mean, it, it's, of a low vibration energy. It's the devil energy could be these, I mean, it could be something as simple as workaholic smoking, or it could be drugs, alcohol, or such. You are the star Aquarius. This is your card. You see how calm the waters are. You recently gone through your own transformation, rebirth, um, and you followed the star. You're understanding the quantum physics of this connection. If anyone needs synchronicities, there's also a bonsai tree in this and a small owl. You've made the decision you chose, and now you sense that your divine counterpart has also chosen by the light of the divine. They have been enlightened to choose which person they are. This two of swords is not like the two of swords that's crisscrossed with blindfolds. Her blindfold is removed. Her hand is not on this sword because there was a choice made. Clarify the justice card a bit. Justice here for, for the Queen of Pentacles, because she's building her pentacles, and that justice had to be to do with the three-party situation, the heartbreak being let down, the cold because of three other women. 
So the divine feminine or the Aquarian had to go in as a hermit and study the science, relook at this, and follow the guidance of the divine. Clarify the four of pencils for a spirit. Clarify the four of pencils for Aquarian. That your divine counterpart is ready to surrender to the divine regarding his toxicity or his habits. Um, he's also ready to come forward to you. And you'll notice that this falls right above the cup of love that he wants to offer you. This offer is going to be coming very soon, possibly even this week. But definitely before the end of the year for those that are currently viewing the channel. Clarify the Page of Cups. Clarify the Page of Cups. Clarify the Page of Cups for the Aquarius. Clarify the Page of Cups for the Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I do take them if I drop them because my table's small and I drop them often. But the Page of Cups is laying down the burdens, all the burdens and the hurts that he's been carrying with this connection. And a lot of the burdens the Divine Feminine may not, or counterpart may not have even been aware that they're carrying. Especially in regards to a karmic situation, then some of these masculines or feminines had children with these karmics. They have family members. It's not as easy as to them. It's not as easy as just walking away. Even though they know it's a toxic connection, there are things that are binding them. A lot of that could even be financial matters because if they leave a family behind, such as oh, someone who didn't work or perhaps it's someone with children, then there will be alimony to pay or child support. And they have to work these things out with the court systems. And we all know the court systems may take time. But they are working on laying down those burdens to come to you. Everything is done in divine timing. Anything else for the divine? Oh, for the, sorry. Anything else for the Aquarius side of the reading? Anything else for the Aquarius side of the reading? Anything else for the Aquarius side of the reading? Maybe? Well, this did try to come out earlier. Um, putting behind you the Nine of Wands, put, turning your back to being blocked. You're not going to be self-imposed prison because you're a high priestess or a hierophant, however that plays out. But you are holding true to your uh, staff and you are moving forward on your own, healing yourself, which is very good. Know that the Knight of Swords, your counterpart, is ready to come forward with their truth. They are on a roll. They want to control their emotions. In this situation, there's a bridle on this horse. He's trying to take control of the situation to move forward with you. He wants to be that king of swords to protect you, provide for you. He knows that and understands you had to set. He knows now and understands. Thank you, Spirit. Now was emphasized that you put your boundaries up with understandably so. But this will bring you both to calmer waters. You can now rest, Aquarius, because Four of Swords is being vulnerable. She's got her shoes off here, taking a rest. Her hands are folded, but her swords are hung up on the wall because she doesn't have to be defensive. She can rest easy knowing that she followed the Divine's guidance. To put a rest to that fighting and the battle regarding the three-party situation that was causing you those sleepless nights. Justice assisted you with this and is now ready to bring you that chariot to move things forward regarding that three-party situation. Your king of cups is healing himself. That could be a queen. Ready to communicate with you and bring you out of the cold to celebrate. He knows that you want to move forward on your own. But he is here as an emperor, ready to take his throne and leave behind things that no longer serve him. The lover's card um, he knows that he has to reignite this passion with you because of the um, things that have gone wrong. 
but he wants this equal give and take two of cups and two of cups is so much better than the lovers because it is that equal passion well you will give and take what nourishment and passion you give to him he will return to you and vice versa this is divinely guided and your nourishment nourishment to one another is also very healing to one another but also when you come into union you will be healing the earth and the sky because it will be bring forth such a high vibration that was a long challenge I'll give you some tea give me a second Alright, so clarify the page of wands, please, for the counterpart, the Aquarian counterpart. Clarify the page of wands for them. Judgment came in. Because they weren't the king of wands, they were still a knight. But, make sure my cards are right. Um, to, they know that even with compared to the other one, you were the only one that held the key to their heart. No other uh, treasure box, no other treasure or earthly possessions or other person could compare to you. And the wheel wants to turn forward with you for this because it was a divine connection. Then you have manifested very well. Now there's time for that joyous, youthful, innocence, equal give and take with the Six of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not going to clarify the Magician because it kind of speaks for itself. Pentacles. Hangman. Um, the Divine Masculine has gone within as a hangman to see things from a different perspective, your perspective. Put himself in your shoes or in, especially being, this is, it reminds me, since Aquarians, we, we float above the earth, right? We can float to the sky with 5D and back all within seconds The and have the world figured out. This is divinely connected. They are mirroring you completely. They are seeing things from your perspective now and they are remorseful for the way things played out they understand that you were the high priestess you were in their power and they just are amazed and in awe of your glow and that you're so highly intuitive and intelligent it just amazes them they are ready to celebrate with you and while he is the knight of cups he still wants to come forward with this new beginning because you are the star that guides him and he is so overwhelmed with emotion he can't even explain how much deeply he loves you he wants okay star said keep going on this side uh page of swords he wants to i'm not sorry hang on peace offering i'm hearing this he wants to put down the swords as a peace offering so that there's no more sharp words between you and, and have nothing but love and light with you he wants to offer you the King of Cup, his full cup of love from his heart. He knows that you're the only one that he ever wanted, and he sees that now. This is a tree. I'm just going to explain the card. This is one tree coming up and branches off. So these are all the battles that are going on within his own head. You can see the tree at the base. Just want to explain the card. Spirit says that he's been battling this, the things that have been going on, all the things that he said, all the wrongs he's done, the other persons, places, things that he put before you. He's battling this all in his mind right now, and it's nothing, he can't get away from it. He just, he's so really ready to surrender to the divine because he can't get away from this monkey mind, I call it. He wants that loyalty with you to lay by the fire to just show you passion and how much that he loves you um and to be loyal to you clarify the ace of cups for the counterpart please ace of cups for the counterpart too many spirits 
Okay, for that new beginning. Clarify the ink. Clarify the ink. Yeah, put an end to the battle, the communicating with others, the three-party situation that the communication just got tangled up or he made a real mess of things. And he's really sorry. He just cannot express how many. I'm getting the divine, some of the divine masculines are coming through in this, or the divine counterparts, I should say, coming through really sorry, very much almost crying. Actually, they are crying. I'm trying not to. Um, they are very emotional right now regarding this mess they made of this. That's got some really sad energy attached to it. Like his face is the energy of the person that was just channel or uh, coming across with. The two cups, they really want to nurture and share this with you. Because they know you are the Queen of Cups. Clarify the Page of Swords, please, sir. Clarify the Page of Swords. With the King of Cups, he's yeah, very much emotional. A cup to his head in emotion with tears. He's cried many nights for you. He's cried to the divine. He's, he just doesn't know what to do. He's beside himself currently. The ten and the, whoever's messaging me is a div divine masculine. Just so that's why I keep saying he, the person crying. Ten of coins. He knows that you hold the key to his heart. The, um, he wants to bring you a gift so that the two of you also can make amends, but to be abundant together, to work on your missions together. That's kind of the high priestess method. We need to clarify her. Drum celebration. This is the dance to the beat of your own drums, but together. Anything else for this reading, Spirit? Anything else for this reading regarding the spread for the Aquarius? Anything else for Aquarius, please? Anything else for the Aquarius? messages from spirit for the Aquarius spirit give us some messages channel messages from and the cross watchers get into mission these are channeled messages if you're new to the channel these are Send messages that I just wrote when Spirit wanted me to make my own cards. And now I just keep adding to them as he has me. Want repeat messages to the collective. Usually most of these are regarding inner child healing. Because that was the focus. Okay. 
Smoky quartz assists you with grounding. Walk it off if you're ready to spout off or to react, then walk away and just breathe. Remember, as a divine counterpart, you're to not react but to reply. Try to control your envy for the other person's success. Remember, when you're together in union, the success will be together. List childhood hurts by the age. Ask spirit guides to help you recall areas that need to heal. Such as ages 1 to 5, 6 to 10. A song may trigger you. There's a song that uh, the man in the mirror that keeps coming up today for other readings. So check that out. And what other song was it? I don't know. Oh, oh, I know. Angels. You. I have an angel. I don't know the author though. And the other one will come to me. True love around you. What was the other song, Spirit? Both of you are marrying the other. Let it go. Forgive. It no longer serves you or the greater good. Amber heals the throat problems. Yellow tourmaline is for your solar plexus. That new soulmate is a test. It's a karmic lesson, and on karma, karma, negative karma would ensue if you go on that path. Look at these. Uh, journal your dreams. Um, well, actually, we have the full moon, but. So remember the new moon is coming after that. Um, use your telepathic communication. Sacred union is in 5D first, as above, so below. So nurture the inner child in the 5D so that you can be together in the 3D. Other messages for Aquarius spirit. Other messages for Aquarius. What do you have for Aquarius? For the month or for the week. Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So go within and do uh, generational healing, past life healing, past life regressions, Pleiades, double the mission, channel and uplifting the humanity. The Akashic Records, your guidance is divinely guided. Aquarius, messages for Aquarius. Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been answered and are being answered. Diana, focused intentions. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. Remember that energy follows intention. The pale of divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desires? <laughs> I just heard somebody the channel the 
somebody just channeled through me to um, <laughs> their true desires cannot be spoken on YouTube. So, can I feminine be ready? <laughs> You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Yes, remember, the higher vibration we get, the more sensitive we are to sound, to light, to toxicity, to toxins in the foods we eat, um, which is why a lot of people in the journey end up going vegetarian because all of a sudden they can't eat those uh, the meats because of the, clo the closer we get to the be realizing we're all one with the plants, the crystals, the earth, then in the animals, then the the vibration of the meat affects your digestion. That's what I'm understanding that to say. Isis, past life. That's beautiful. This situation involves your past life memories. Past life regression is um, definitely very helpful if you need assistance with that email me I can um, recommend someone same with generational healing spirit give us true precise messages for Aquarius for this week true precise messages of the device for this week The goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. And Bridget, oh, okay, Bridget the mother, same one. The goddess of the eternal flame. I am an eternal flame, and each day my light grows brighter. So true. So that is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you have a fantastic week and know that. The December 12th is not far away, and it's going to be magnificent with your energy. So keep healing, and to the counterparts that have this energy, keep doing the healing, and I'll send you positive energy. Namaste.